In this episode, we'll explore using the error group package to handle concurrent tasks, propagate cancellations, and manage errors effectively. We'll also demonstrate this with a real-life example, fetching multiple URLs using GoRoutines. What is Error Group? The Error Group package provides a way to group GoRoutines, allowing them to run concurrently while handling errors. It simplifies error handling in concurrent operations by combining them into a single result. When any GoRoutine in the group returns an error, the remaining GoRoutines can also be cancelled. This pattern is useful for ensuring clean shutdowns and stopping the entire group of tasks if one of them fails. Let's say we are building a simple web scraper to fetch the content of multiple URLs concurrently. To begin with, we want to ensure that even if one of the scrapes fails, it won't stop the entire process, but the error should be captured for later processing. We have these four URLs that we are going to scrape. The last URL is the one that is going to throw an error as it is not valid. Let's begin by creating a new error group. Now, we will loop through each URL and launch a Go routine to fetch the page. For each URL, we call g.go. Before going further, let's initialize a map to store responses. Let's get back to the Go routine. Here we call the function fetch page. We pass the URL and the responses map to this function. This function will scrape the URL and store the response in the responses map. We will implement this function soon. If fetch page encounters an error, it will be captured by the error group. Now we'll define a fetch page function, which will be responsible for fetching the content of each URL, handling errors that may occur during the HTTP request, and storing the response in a shared map. We start by making an HTTP GET request to the URL. If there's an error, it's printed and returned. Using defer ensures we close the response body once we're done. Next, if the fetch is successful, we read the response body. Now we store the content of the response in the shared map. Here, we added a print. And, finally, return nil as there has been no error. As multiple GoRoutines might be storing the response in the map simultaneously, we need to have a mutex. Let's declare a mutex here. We will pass this mutex in the fetch page function. We need to lock access to the responses map before storing the content in the map. After updating the map, we unlock it to ensure no race conditions occur. In the main function, once all GoRoutines have been started, we call g.wait to wait until all of them are done. If any GoRoutine returns an error, the wait function will return that error immediately. If there's no error, we print a success message and then loop through the responses map to print the response. Let's run the program. Here it failed to fetch this URL. All the other URLs are fetched successfully. In the end, we get this error when wait is called on the error group.
Here is something interesting that the error group provides. We can set a limit to the number of Go routines that can run concurrently. We will use the set limit function to do so. We have set the limit to 2. Now, when we run the program, we can see two URLs get fetched at a time. There could be a scenario when you want to skip the subsequent goroutine if one fails. We will change this code to use airgroup.withcontext to manage errors and control cancellation across goroutines. In the main function, we will replace the declaration of the error group with airgroup.withcontext. We create an error group instance with a context.background as the base context. This function returns an error group and a content. If any go routine in the group returns an error, this context will be cancelled, stopping all remaining tasks. We will pass the context to the fetch page function. Here, we need to check if the context has been cancelled before proceeding. We will use the select block here. If the context is closed, we will exit the function. This is useful for stopping ongoing operations when another goroutine encounters an error. Otherwise, we let the program proceed regularly. Let's run this program. It is hard to notice how context cancellation works here as all other URLs were fetched before the invalid URL. Let's move the invalid URL to the first place. Now when we run the first URL fails, the context gets cancelled and all the subsequent goroutines exit early. The Atta Group package in Go is a powerful tool when you're dealing with multiple concurrent operations where errors need to be handled carefully. This technique can be extended to more complex applications such as processing multiple database queries concurrently, making API calls in parallel, or processing large datasets in chunks. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new Go tutorial. Until next time, Happy coding.